everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center, just off the Vegas trip for a much anticipated main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. The Dragon's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. He's approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. at all times. Let's touch him up. All right. Keep the touch. opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. Shake it off. Shake it off. It's all right. It's all right. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. There you go. There you go. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Good block. That's okay. That's all right. Now pay him back. Go pay him back. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. And he's holding. Halfway through round number one. Come up, come up. The Dragon's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Another clinch. Nice, nice. He scores with the left. Good flush shot upstairs. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Dragon. Able to get rid of that one. Go get him! Now he ties up there. Jump on it! Nice! Come on, bring it on! The Get Dragon's defense is paying off now. Final 10 seconds of round number one. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing a lot, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. 
needs to shorten them up. Stay tight. Keep jabbing and hitting. Keep him in front of you, okay? Don't let him move. Here we go. Round two is underway. The Dragons' defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. He took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Accurate with a straight left. Protecting his head well with his guard. Now hugging on the inside. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Come on! Keep it going! Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Well-placed left hand there. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Good defensive skill. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. This is and that round is over. And now a new battle is in front of this fighter because he's dealing with just the swelling. Exactly. And Teddy, when a fighter has swelling, obviously they're worried about their vision. Yeah, obviously. And it's up to the corner man to know how to deal with that. He's got to take that end swell, that piece of metal that's in the ice, and put nice, even pressure and try to reduce that swelling. A lot of times, you see guys, they look like they're removing old grout from tile, you know, in your bathroom. They're just pushing it so hard, they don't understand. They think that they're spreading it where it's going to be better, but in reality, they're doing more damage. Very nice defensive guard there. Locks that belt line well. Yeah, that's it. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. The dragon's punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. Parries that punch intended for the head. Come on, 
keep your feet moving. Come on now. Oh! I think he's going to be able to beat this. This count should not be a worry at all. He looks unaffected from that punch. The punch didn't hurt him, but the idea of it, did that hurt him? What I mean by that, does he get over anxious now and try to make it up too quick? That has the sense of a flash knockdown there. You can see he's not too damaged. His opponent better be careful. He's still got a live guy opposite him. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. And believe me, the Bez indicated that he didn't really hurt him. His opponent's not coming after him. He knows that he's okay. He knows that that wasn't one of those big shots that really debilitates a guy. Keep, on, keep working the body. Keep working the body. You believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Worked out well with the uppercut. Stay with me here. Did you see that? Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving. Okay, now come on, come on now, you can do this. You can do this. Now I need another round from you. I need you to be busy this round, all right? Now let's box smart and not get caught. Box smart now, champ. Come on now, hands up. This is a classic example we're seeing here as we start round number four of just the busier guy taking the fight. He's up three rounds to zip on Teddy's scorecard. Yeah, my concern, though, Joe, I have one little concern. What's there. that? Well, is he winning the battles, but maybe going to lose the war because he's really wearing himself out. He's working so hard to get things done. Down the road, does he pay a price? The dragon's almost as if he's scared to throw punches right now, that he's just thinking strictly about defense after being tagged earlier in this fight. Well, he needs some help in his corner. That's where a good corner comes in right now. They have to straighten his mind out right now. They have to give him another way of attack. They have to give him a plan B. Big right hand. Supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Hey, 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 hey. let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see. Halfway through round number four. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. That is a sharp uppercut by the dragon. Able to cover up that gut. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Awesome. 
And now he's targeting upstairs. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Teddy, I gotta be honest with you. Based on what we saw in that last round, I didn't think we'd be broadcasting this round. I thought the fight would be over. It may be soon if his opponent can jump on him. But this could be his only chance. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe this is the moment where you expect your opponent to come after you fast. Maybe you grit yourself, you plant your feet, you draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and you nail him coming in. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. Cut by the dragon. Come on, come on. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Work the butt. Work the butt. Hey, that's right. Body shot. Body shot. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. He's got that that's certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Seconds remaining in this round. Really nice round out of him right there. And we haven't been able to say that much. I think that was by far one of his better efforts. He won that last round. He is trailing on the scorecards, but I do believe he won that last round. Yeah, well, what I like the most is he could have easily, you know, he could have capitulated a little bit. He could have, you know, spit the bit a little bit. You're not supposed to, but hey, these are human beings. They do it. He could have gotten frustrated. He's not. He's got himself together. He's acting like a pro. He's doing what he needs to do to get back in his race. Get back in his fight count okay listen to me when he misses with a punch 
Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down, is to have a great resolve, and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. That's OK. That's OK. Let it go. Let it go. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Well played, straight right hand. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. The dragon's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he nice continues work. doing this, nice it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. Ten seconds to go in this round. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight rounds, if you finish up good, the judges remember that. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This guy is beating you. If you throw three or four punches, you know. And that round is underway, and we are halfway through the scheduled slate. Dragon's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Yeah! Good work! Wow! Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, 
how does he survive? Joe, one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. At the halfway point of round seven. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Good block. Guard your head! He clinches when he gets to the inside. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this. Great work. Big, big shot comes crashing home. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Fight is over. The Dragon's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. You know, Teddy, not long ago when we put up your scorecard on the screen, I noticed somebody from his corner looking up at the big Jumbotron here in the arena. They knew he was losing this fight. Yeah, but that's smart use of information. They got it to him, they let him know, and they got the results they wanted, they needed. The result, a knockout victory. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.